Hey guys, it's Danny here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it is a pleasure to join you. In this video, we're going to do a question from the November 2019 Grade 12 Physical Sciences Paper 2. This question deals with chemical equilibrium and reaction rate. In this reaction, nitrogen monoxide gas reacts with oxygen gas and produces nitrogen dioxide according to this balanced chemical equation. The amounts of each gas were recorded over time on this graph. And we're also told that the volume of the container remains constant at 3 decimeters cubed and at t equals zero, so at the beginning of the recording, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the equilibrium constant is 256. Questions 4.1 to 4.6 are covered in a separate video and the answers are not relevant to the ones dealt with here. The only thing that you do need to know from the previous questions is that the disturbance at 60 minutes is an increase in temperature. So let's take a look at the graph given to us. It shows the amount of reactants and product throughout the time period. And we can see that the system is in initially in equilibrium. Then at 20 minutes there is a disturbance, there is a sharp decrease in the concentration of the product, so some of the product has been removed. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, the system will favour the reaction that opposes that disturbance. So the forward reaction will be favoured to increase the amount of product, and that's what we see happening on the graph. The amount of the reactants decreases they are used up to form the product, and the amount of the product increases. And then we have equilibrium re-established from 40 minutes to 60 minutes. Then at 60 minutes in there is another disturbance. This time it is an increase in temperature. Once again, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the system will favour the reaction that opposes the disturbance. We can see from the graph that the amount of product decreases and the amount of reactants increases. So that means that the reverse reaction is favoured and since, since an increase in temperature always favours the endothermic reaction, we can conclude that the reverse reaction is endothermic. After that, equilibrium is once again re-established until the end of the time period at 100 minutes. Now, the question here wants us to plot the reaction rate of the forward and reverse reactions over time. And it is dotted for us on this graph paper using the solid line as the forward reaction and the dotted line as the reverse reaction. So I'll just use different colors. The first disturbance occurs at 20 minutes in and it is a decrease in concentration of the product. That means that there will be an immediate decrease in the reaction rate for the reverse reaction since the concentration has decreased. So we can put that immediate decrease in over there at 20 minutes. To oppose this disturbance, the forward reaction is favoured to produce more of the product and that means that our reactants will be used up and the product will be formed. So that means that the rate of the forward reaction will decrease and the rate of the reverse reaction will increase until equilibrium is re-established. So here we have the rate of the reverse reaction increasing and then we will have the rate of the forward reaction decreasing until equilibrium is re-established over here at 40 minutes in. Then equilibrium is uh, re-established from 40 minutes until 60 minutes where there is another disturbance. This time the disturbance is an increase in temperature. Now we know that an increase in temperature increases the rate of both of the reactions, so both the forward and reverse reactions, but it will especially favour the endothermic reaction. So we concluded earlier that the reverse reaction is endothermic, so that means that the reverse reaction rate will increase more than the forward reaction rate. So we can increase the reverse reaction rate at 60 minutes, and then we will also increase the forward reaction rate, but to a lesser extent than the reverse reaction. Then, as the product is used up and reactants are made, the reverse reaction rate will once again decrease and the forward reaction rate will increase until equilibrium is established once more. So we have an increase in the reaction rate of our forward reaction and we will have a decrease in the rate of our reverse reaction. And then from 80 minutes to 100 minutes we once again have equilibrium re-established. 
Okay, so before I go, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our Epic sponsor for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Be sure to visit our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, you can send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until next time, stay epic.